everybody, your average gamer here, and this is your top five Call of Duty weapons. Now we are going to start off in this map on this map is I can't remember the name of the map. Oh my god! But we are going to start off with this weapon, and the number five spot is for the RK5. Now, as you see in the gameplay footage, I'm picking up the RK5 here, and then the reason why the RK5 is number five. <laughs> RK5 5 anyway the reason why the RK5 is one of the good wall guns is because of its cheapness it's only 500 points it has good ammo it has good damage to round 15 with double tap and speed cola which makes it unstoppable but the reason why it's number 5 on our list for best wall guns um is mainly because it has really, really small ammo, z uh, ammo, and it uses up its bullets really fast. But still, it's a good gun, nonetheless. And I recommend it for anyone who wants to get points starting off in those early rounds. Now, coming at number four on our list is the wonderful VMP. Now, the VMP is a great... Oh, and you see in the gameplay footage here, I didn't have enough points. My dunceness didn't get enough points. Like, really? Anyway, but the VMP is a great gun for points, way better than the RK5, and it's only 1300 and you can find it in the room where the garage is, near Teleporter B, I think it's called? B or C, I forgot which was which, but it's a very, very, very great gun, great fire rate, good ammo, mm, damage is a bit iffy around the higher rounds, I say I use this gun till round 10 at most, maybe even 15 to get those great points, but you can find better guns from the box or even from the wall. Um, but the reason why I like this gun is its cheapness, it's only about two doors in, and it gets more points than you realize than the RK5. Me here, I have sights and many attachments on it, that's how much I use this gun, because I love this gun, and I recommend it for anybody who wants good points in zombies. And as you will see next, we are going on to our number three gun, which is the CUDA. Now, the CUDA is another SMG, but it has better damage than the VMP, and it also has better am it, ammo's not as great, but I mean, it has better damage. The fire rate's lower, which also conserves ammo. And with double tap, this gun is wonderful. Me, personally, I use this gun to round 20, and that was with it not being pack-a-punched, and it started losing its umph around 18. But when you pack-a-punch it with double tap, it's very good. It can last to around 28, maybe even more. I don't really know. But, I haven't used the gun to 28, I've only used it to around 25 when it's pack-a-punched. But, this gun is a great point builder, even better than the VMP. It's just, I think it's tw I think it's. Tw 1,250 points, which isn't that bad, but I mean, it could be a little more expensive, and I'm happy it's not, though, because there's not many attachments you can put on this gun, considering that it is a SMG, but I mean, if you want points, and you want to kill zombies for a decent amount of time, for a very cheap price, the CUDA is your gun, and by the way, I'm just a huge CUDA fan, even a multiplayer, but zombies, they made the CUDA a little overpowered. It's awesome gun. But now moving on to our number two spot, which is the M8, uh, which is the M8A7. The M8A7 is a very good burst fire gun. As you see in the recorded gameplay, I shot him in one burst, which is three bullets. Uh, I think it's three. Or, you see, yeah, it's a three round burst. This is a great gun for multiplayer, especially at a distance. This gun is probably one of my favorite pack a punched guns because of such high damage output. And the reason why I put this gun even on the list is because it can last unpack a punch till round 20. I've used it till round 20 unpack a punch, and it's even better than some guns that are pack a punched. Let alone it gives you points, and it's great for headshots. Look, on the head headshot count, it'll just rack up. Just keep going, keep going, keep going with the headshots. And um, me, that's just my little addiction when I keep reloading. But I like this gun more than the other guns on the list is its ammo. It has good ammo. 32 in a clip, and I think it's like almost 200 in the reserve, I think. 
and um, a lot of attachments you can put on it. It's great. Just overall, good gun to get. Now moving on to our number one spot, we are going to be talking about the KN44, or known as the SDG44, or the AK47. Um, this gun, as you can see, I have the red hex camo, which is the top zombies camo you can get, with multiple attachments on it. It's because this gun is that good. Me personally, I think this gun is a beast. It, I've lasted to round 37 with this gun. Mainly... I like this gun because when you pack a punch it, it becomes unstoppable. Now, it's not better than the Man of War, don't get me wrong. The Man of War is better than this gun, but this gun has some great firepower. So, if you enjoyed this list, please give it a likes up, and I will see you all guys in the next video. Thanks, have a good one.